It is that time of the year where I uh, fill up my bird feeders for my for Tony and his family. So I have three. I've already cleaned them. It's very important that you clean them. Uh, otherwise, they will not come to the feeder. And so um, this one is a new one. And these two are great because they have a little moat. And that prevents the ants from getting into the, into the holes here and getting into the feeder so they can't cross the moat. I love these two. Uh, this one, I just love the pattern of it. And I wasn't able to get all the way in there and get these. I'm so anal about that kind of stuff, but I wasn't, I have to get maybe a um, scrub brush, a baby bottle brush or something. But what I do is I put in, I fill up a pot and then I put in two, I'm, I'm not sure how much water, I just kind of fill it up um, more than halfway. And then I put in two cups of sugar. No red dye, no none of that stuff, just sugar, water. And then I fill these up. And well, before that, I let this cool. This has been cooling for a while. And so now it's it's ready to go into the feeders. And then I usually have leftovers and I put them in the mason jar. And then when it's time to refill, I can just, you know, put those, fill those up again. So that is my process. It's pretty simple and they come back every year without fail. And sometimes when the feeder is empty, they come up to the window like, uh, What's your problem? Uh, where's the where's the stuff? You know what we need? Give it to us. Why is it in there? So they're very um, bold little critters, but I love them. I love the hummingbirds. They're the only birds that I feed. I try to feed um, the regular birds, but the squirrels, they took over and they come to the window and they just, you know, make a mess of all the seeds and everything. So that didn't last. So the hummingbirds are the only birds that I feed and the Lord feeds the rest. put two here and the last one is hung in the pineapple garden so there's plenty of food for Tony and his 
family and I will replenish when it needs to be replenished. So there we have it. That is how I make my hummingbird nectar. And those are the pots that I use to fill them.